Cecil, I hear there's some updates to the new expression in C Sharp 9. Can you show me that? Yeah, for sure. I feel like with every new version of C Sharp, we're coming up with ways to make developers a little bit more efficient. And with this update to the new expression, now developers can screw write a little bit less code. And actually, why don't I show you what this looks like in my editor? Yeah, that'd be great. Cool. So what you're looking at here is, notice I've defined a type of product. And a product has a name and a quantity. And in C-sharp, we typically create new instances of types using something like this. So I'll say product watch is equal to new product, and I'll give it the properties that it needs. Now, in previous versions of C-sharp, they introduced the var keyword. So I can do something like this. And now var will implicitly figure out, well, what's the type I'm trying to create based on what's on the right-hand side of that equal sign? And again, that works fine. But now in C-sharp 9, I can actually remove product from that new expression. And now what will happen is that new expression will figure out what's the type I'm trying to create based on what's on the left-hand side of that equal sign, which I think is great. And as you can see, it starts to save us some keystrokes. Yeah, that does seem really useful. But can you give me another example of that? For sure. Now, let's imagine I wanted to create a list of products. right? I have a bunch of them that I want to add to an inventory list. Notice here how many times that I've actually had to write out products. Like, it's a lot. Well, using that updated new expression, I can actually remove these. And as you can see, it's a little bit less code now for me to create that list. But again, my code is still doing exactly what I expected to. So for instance, if I wanted to go ahead and print out my inventory, I could do something like this, right? I could say, you know, I have item.quantity, amounts of item that name, right? I can go ahead and dot net build this. And then when that's done building, I can also do a dot net run. And just in a few seconds, I'm going to expect to see the list of my products with the names and also their quantities. But again, I'm able to express my code and what I want it to do with a little bit less typing. So again, I'm saving myself some keystrokes here. Awesome. That does seem really useful. If you'd like to learn more about our new C-Sharp 9 features, head on over to our documentation linked below.